Hello everybody, welcome back to Dad's Gaming. I'm Dad and we are back in the compound. Last time you were with me, we um, we were, well, I, I updated this list. Oh, we did this last time, didn't we? I, I can't remember. But anyway, we've got some things, so revel in my own awesomeness. That's always number one. We'll leave that there. Furnished house. We'll do that. Well, I've done that. Let me show you what I've done. I'm so freaking happy about this. It's amazing. I can sleep as well. So let's... Be a bit of a spoiler, but let's just quickly jump up to the top so I can sleep in my awesome bed. That I can't show you. I tried to, to see if I could show you, but it's sort of lifted, it's slightly lifted. You can actually sleep in it, which is great. Now, over here we've got some blinds. I told you these were great. You click on them and they let light through, or you click on them and you, you know, box the light out. Gives a little bit of privacy when you're sleeping. Um, this is a blackout curtain, and oh, whoops. and then inside is a bathroom, so you can get a little bit of privacy, and I've got obviously some blackouts, um, sorry, some blinds there as well. <laughs> I showed you this last time, didn't I? Jesus Christ, this is, there's a bath, there's a toilet, uh, a medicine cabinet, and then there's a, uh, a basin there. I'm really happy with how this turned out. This is probably my favourite floor. This is my little computer corner. I uh, put some computer stuff on this oak shelf here, on this Bibli craft shelf. You can sit on this chair. Whee! Got a printer, uh, which like is functional in some way, but I don't know how. We'll have to test it out at a later point. It's got a little cabinet there, bookshelves with all my books in. And then the computer, as I showed you last time, it's got Mind Bay, so you can buy stuff. I don't really need any of this stuff, though. Well, you can buy spawn eggs. That's pretty cheaty. <laughs> I might have to utilize that at some point though, if I can't find any mobs. Shift to get off, yeah, shift to get off. And then this is the kitchen. Um I showed you that you could put the uh the plates in the in the rack. I've got some food cooking here. This isn't as good as I thought it was because you have to take your item out and then it cooks the next one. Um got a fridge full of food. I put that in there. Brought all my food over. Freezer needs fuel, I don't exactly know what that does, but um, I built this thing as well from Cray's Furniture, uh, which is a cupboard. Put a plant down, put another basin in, and an oven overhead as well. Um, just goes with the oven, it just looks cool, I guess. Oops. Changed it around at the bottom here, put some uh, disc racks on the, on the wall. And I've put the corner sofa in. And then the TV's over here. It's a bit bare down here. We'll have to sort something out. But yeah, that's the house. It looks pretty freaking awesome. I'm trying not to show you what's behind me. Don't look at that. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, let's walk backwards. So <laughs> no spoilers. <laughs> okay. Furnish house done. Build the outer reactor building. Well, I'm pleased to know that I have in fact built the outer reactor building. I hate that roof. I'm happy with the sides, but I hate that roof, and I desperately need to link up with somebody who's good at building in Minecraft, because you can tell by my buildings that, um, you know, and so that one's pretty good, I'm impressed with that, and I like these ones, and I'll show you what I've done, well, I've just made that bigger, that room there, but I'll show you that in a second. Um, so let's go inside. So inside, that kind of that roof up there is mimicked inside. We'll head upstairs. A bit laggy in here. It's because I'm recording, I think. Yeah, I quite like this in here. It's pretty cool, I reckon. Punch down on the apple. No, no. Yeah, awesome. Cool. At least I got that done, you know. And we can take that off of here. Whee! Right, build a server room for the Applied Energistics Pooder. The Pooder. The Pooder. Wow. <laughs> Look at it on the map. It looks amazing on the map. Built this building here. I used a special type of block called a Builder's Guide. What mod's that? Is it... Extra utilities. Builder's Guide. Select Builders. Build. There it is. I open blocks. Builders guide. Uh, it's just some 
glass and, and a thing. So where's open box? I thought open box was here. No, open box is down here. There it is. So you put it down on the floor and it provides a shape in these hollow blocks and you can click on a side. Well this is actually what it did. That'd be four, that'd be nine, and then that would be seven. Yeah, four nine seven. So that's the same shape as that one. And then I just um changed obviously the dimensions on the, the builder to go in the other direction. And then uh, I, I built that one in, in the, Sort of a, a, an axis, an axis, an angle to it, or intersecting it. There we go. Um, and then put the glass roof on. I'll show you inside. Yeah. So inside, I put these uh, inverted white lamps. Um, they're lighting up the room nicely, except for this bit here. I put a um, an advanced energy cube. I made quite a few advanced energy cubes, um, and that's secure. That's Full, full of power now and then that's the output side there so I can bring that up and the floor is just made of panels so actually I can run the cables hopefully underneath um, and then well actually I'll, I'll probably just bring them up the middle and then build the sort of server in the middle here with space around the side for storage or whatever um, although the whole point of the computer system is storage but you know anyway it's big enough that we, we've got enough room to do whatever we want with uh, Clyde Energistics in here that's pretty cool I really like this room actually it's kind of a uh, fits the theme of, with this, but doesn't really with the rest of it, but <laughs> never mind. Alrighty. There was a server. Check the nether mine, miner. Well, I brought the miner back from the nether, actually. You can see I moved the nether portal over there as well. It was up on top of this building before I extended this building. Um, yeah, it's off because I've got nothing to mine. I just used it there because I needed to mine some magnesium to make a... Uh, um, so I could make some more steel. Steel, even. Um, the reason it was in the nether is to make quartz for this building, or to mine quartz for that building and for the, that as well. Uh, okay, so we've got to make ME cables next. Oh, initiate floodgate. Let's do that first. Let me just put this away. So you remember I told you that I wanted to um, make this into like a little lake uh, with a bridge entrance. I'm just going to go with this this type of block. It's just carpenter's block with the uh, modified um, with a chisel iron f um, fences or iron gates or whatever they're called. Same as what I've used in here around the uh, around the edge here and on the floor here in this room. I think it looks pretty cool. Now I've got an infant water source here with an acres accumulator, um, transfer node, liquid transfer node, these transfer pipes, and this thing called a floodgate, which is built like this. Really easy to make. Iron gear, tank, which is just glass, um, three iron bars, and then four iron ingots. Really easy to make. And then what you do is you just hook it up, and it draws from the infinite water source. You can probably see the blocks are just moving there, and it's going to fill this entire area up, up to the level of the floodgate. Hopefully. Yeah, so I guess we'll just leave that running, see how far it gets. Hopefully it doesn't flood anything. I guess it's just going to work on it level by level, make sure the... Uh... Yeah, okay, cool, that's just going to put source box everywhere. Ooh, look at this. I accidentally deleted the uh, statue that I had there. So I built a new statue, and I used something called a pallet. Let me just get statues mod. Pallet with um, a bit of wood. Bit of lapis, green cactus uh, dye, and the rose red dye, uh, and then you you spend that so it's consumable that palette, um, and then it um, provides the actual skin. So you can see me wearing my uh, um, uh, lab coat and my smart trousers, probably some sort of um, corduroys and my tie with my belt, which is obviously a Batman belt, although you can't tell it from the two D image. Oh look, this is going well. Seems to be filling up from underneath though, unless it's going to do the next level after that, otherwise we'll have to just move it up one. But that's alright, no worries. Let's just crack on with some um, ME cable stuff, so... Oh, let's be done that now. 
Um, and then because I ran out of space, uh, build the computer network, but we'll do that after we build the cables. Also, visit the nether dungeon, um, which we'll do at some point. Peter the DD, which is a portal to the deep dark, which again we'll do at some point. I've got the uh, materials now. We'll have to just set up a few other things. And be awesomer. Should always be awesomer. Uh, automate ores. Right, let me show you in here. And we'll crack on with, uh, with the ME cables. So, I made the room bigger. Uh, used the same blocks around the outside, and I've used the same wood on the floor. Um, I put another energy cube there, advanced energy cube. It's going to stay full with power, distribute the power nicely in the room. Um, and um, I'm probably going to I'll take out the uh, um, the system here for creating energy because we don't need it because we'll get plenty from that. But I will leave the um, system for um, accruing hydrogen into this gas tank so we can keep charging our backpack, our jetpack. Yeah, awesome. But we'll do that at a later date. Let's see if we can. Well, look, we've got an ME controller, wireless access button, pattern coder, and an ME drive. 